Hi, Tracy Lewis from Stuff and Things. I would like to show you how I've decided to store my sentiments. In our small space, I realized right away that I was not going to be able to keep my stamp sets in the cases that they came in. So unfortunately, all of my Stampin' Up! cases were given away and all of my stamp sets are in these books. I have um, them all labeled and I'm not going to talk about the images, I'm going to talk about the sentiments. I have three different Stampin' Up! images books separated with these sleeves that are by Martha Stewart. I found them on Amazon for photo storage and I decided that it was such a hassle to, to, to try to fish through three different books to find a particular sentiment that I knew that I had but I couldn't remember which book it was in or exactly which set it was with and being that I am short on space I decided I was going to go ahead and separate all of the sentiments and put them alphabetically A through Z. I went and bought transparency paper. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. I bought 13 sheets of index paper. I think I might have bought 15 because a couple of the letters I have more than this half sheet. I cut them in halves, five and a half by eight and a half. And then I made an index card, five and a half by eight and a half, which is regular copy paper. Just regular old printed copy paper. I pulled out and started um, laying out my words A through Z till I had them all done. Then I lined them all up nicely in my Misty. I used my big Misty, the, the one that's actually five and a half by eight and a half. So I used this size of Misty. And on the lid, I placed all of my sentiments like so. After I had them all done, I inked them up folded it over onto my paper, which I will simulate it right here, flipped it over, inked my paper, and here is my index sheet that tells me which sentiments are on the A. I can see that I am missing this one. So obviously that one has gone off somewhere to do a particular task and it has not been returned yet to its home. Then the next thing I did I did put a little letter A in a Sharpie so that I could remember what it came from, even though I could read the first letter of the first word, you know, artistic journal, and see that it's A's, but to make it easy. So what I do is, if I'm looking for a particular phrase, I can look at the index pages on the back of every single sheet. C's, D's, the letters that I left for H, because H already CH is already a full page. I've left this blank to be more H's. And here's how busy the H pages look. I've actually dedicated um, this top one is mostly happy birthdays and the bottom is doesn't have any happy birthday. They might have other happy birthday messages like it's past your birthday. But all the happy birthdays go up here and there's room for some more happy birthdays as I acquire more. And the other letter that I found to be prolific, look, there's a couple letters here that just have one or two, the O and the P. Now we hit T's. Already I have a full page of T's. Oh, I have a third page of T's. So I'm already up to three pages of T's. So I used basically all 15 sheets of my transparency paper that I bought. And I think I paid a dollar a piece for them. And then I still have some an extra sheet here that's just hanging out. And this Y is I believe W X Y. Nope, it's not an extra Y. And I don't have any Z's. I think that's interesting that I have no Z's. And that is how I have found it works best for me to be able to find my sentiments quickly and not have to try to remember what set they came from. Because I just remember I have something about um, I love you. And I go to the eyes and start looking from there. Hopefully you will find this helpful if you are working in a very small space too.
Thanks. Bye.